Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem guess number higher or lower. We're playing a guessing game basically. We're given a range between 1 and n where n is going to be the parameter that we're given in our function. Somebody has picked a number between 1 and n and our goal is to guess which number that they pick. Now if we get the right guess, if we guess the correct number, well basically first of all how we can actually guess is by calling some API function that we're also given. We don't have to implement this. Uh, we just assume that it exists. So we guess a number and if we cr guess the correct number, uh, this function is going to return 0. If we guess a number that's too small, the number that we guess is smaller than the correct number, then this function is going to return 1. If we guess a number that's greater than the actual number, then this function is going to return negative 1. Using this information, we're supposed to efficiently implement uh, a solution that can get the correct number. So if we were given n equals 10, that means we're given a range 1 through 10, and the correct uh, value that we're trying to guess is 6. So how can we efficiently do that? Now, of course, the guess could have been something else. It could have been 7, it could have been 1, it could have been 10. We need to create a general algorithm that will be relatively efficient. Now the worst case would be uh, pretty obvious. So we're given 1 through 10. Now the worst solution we could do is guess, you know, let's say the smallest number. Uh, we guess 1. They tell us that the actual guess is greater than th uh, 1 based on the API function. So then we know, okay, 1 is not the solution. And now we're searching this entire range. Another bad thing we could do is guess the largest number, 10. Okay, 10 is not uh, the correct solution. The real solution is smaller than that. So uh, now we're still searching these. But of course, if we pick the middle number, that will eliminate the most possibilities because either we guess the correct value, but if we don't guess the correct value, in this case, uh, 5 is actually smaller than the real value. So not only did we eliminate 5, but we actually eliminated every value smaller than 5 as well because they told us that the real number is greater, so we eliminated basically half the array. So now we're going to be searching this. And this is kind of a game, you know, if you ever played it as a kid, you probably already knew this strategy, and it turns out that this strategy is actually a algorithm in computer science called binary search. And the good thing about it is, in the worst case, if we keep doing this, so if now let's say this is the array that we're looking at, and we're not going to guess 6 immediately because even though it turns out that that is the correct answer in this case, in the general case, that would not be very efficient. So we're going to again guess the middle value, 8. We're told that the real solution is smaller than 8. So now we've eliminated 8, but we also eliminated every value greater than 8. So now among these, we guess the middle value. I think it's going to end up being 6 because we're going to guess the middle value by taking 6 plus 7, dividing it by 2, and we're going to round down. So I think it's going to be 6. So this time... We guess 6, and it turns out that that's the correct value, so that's what we can return. Now, with the naive algorithm, where we guess 1 by 1, that would obviously run in big O of n time, but if we always guess the middle value, uh, every time we're going to be basically taking half the values of this array and eliminating them if we don't get the correct one. How many times can we eliminate half of the values of an array before we're left with a single value? Well, that's by definition the log base 2 algorithm, where n is going to be the uh, input parameter n, which is also you know the size of the amount of numbers that we have. So the algorithm is log n, and there's no extra memory, so the memory complexity is big O of 1. With that said, let's now jump into the code. So with binary search, what you want to do is keep track of what your boundaries are. We don't have to have, you know, an actual array. In this case, we can just keep track of what the leftmost and rightmost values are, because those are like our minimum and our maximums. So the left, uh, we know that this is a range between 1 through n, so our left is 1, our right is n. And we're guaranteed that there is a solution. So what I'm actually going to do is just set a while loop. And we could set it to while true, uh, or you could set it to while left is less than r. I'm just going to set it to true, uh, because we know within this loop, we're going to end up returning once we find the solution, and we're guaranteed to find a solution. So now we want to calculate the midway point. We can do that pretty easily just by taking a left plus right, dividing it by 2. Uh, with Python, you need two slashes to actually do integer division, uh, which is how you can actually round down. Okay, so now we're going to guess. Uh, we can call the guess function. 
the middle value is going to be our guess and then the, the result from that. Uh, we're going to need that result in a couple comparisons because we want to know if it's uh, greater than zero, is it less than zero, or is it exactly zero, which is going to be the else case. If it's exactly zero, that means we found the correct solution. The correct solution is M, the midway point that we calculated, so that's what we can return. Now, if it's greater than zero, Based on the description, that means that the real number is actually greater than our guess. So now we want to shift the range. We want to guess all numbers greater than m. We can do that by taking our left boundary, saying, setting it to uh, be equal to m plus 1. Now in the opposite case, that would mean that we're trying to find the, the guessed number, which is actually smaller than what we guessed. That means the real number is actually smaller than what we guessed, in which case we would want to search to the right. So uh, we can do that by taking our right pointer and then shifting it to m minus 1 because we know that the real result is smaller than m. So that's actually the entire code. Let's just run it to make sure that it works. And as you can see on the left, yes, it does. And it's pretty efficient. So I really hope that this was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. It really supports the channel a lot. Consider checking out my Patreon where you can further support the channel. And hopefully I'll see you pretty soon. Thanks for watching.